Let's dive into the Atola Jellyfish. If you're new here, I'm all things marine. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you love the ocean as much as I do, and make sure you smash that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the weird ocean creatures that I talk about. Wanna know more about the ocean than your average Joe? Smash that like button and let's dive into the Atola jellyfish already. The Atola jellyfish, or Atola wyvele, which is the species I will be talking about in this video, looks like a UFO and is a great example of how alien the deep sea truly is. I have included this animal in a top five list before of animals that glow or use bioluminescence. This is obvious because these jellies are heavenly reliant on bioluminescence. And this species of Atola jellyfish has a very unique way of taking advantage of the light that they produce. How deep do these aliens live? Anywhere from 3,000 to about 13,000 feet underneath the surface. Water at these depths is freezing cold. How large do these aliens of the deep get? Well, the bell of these animals can be a maximum recorded diameter of about 8 inches, and these creatures have a little over 20 normal tentacles called marginal tentacles, around the circumference of the bell, but they also have one hypertrophied tentacle, which is oftentimes exceptionally longer than the other tentacles. It is still unclear what this tentacle is used for, but it does have the ability to retract and come towards the bell. Scientists hypothesize that it might be linked to potentially sexual reproduction or even to catching food, which brings me to my next point. If something tries to munch on one of these deep sea UFOs, the jelly will begin to produce blue glowing light, which alerts other predators to come and actually eat the predator of the jellyfish itself. Talk about predator turned prey. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you learned something new today, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching All Things Marine.